These are the yellow, the choco, and the pure chocolate molly. By the way, these are rosy barbs. Maybe they have accidentally included this. I still have carbs here. I still have, wow, these are beautiful. Japanese koi, but they are too stressed. guys it's a beautiful day once again and you are here back at Dexter's World Channel today we are going to make an update about our three big ponds that are made of cement as what I have told you in our earlier video that I wanted to make this concrete and this is the end result now of our effort in making this three big tanks a concrete one. I have just arrived from a long trip and just bear with me with this mustache and beard because I haven't shaved because I just arrived from, from a long trip and I went to the southern part of our country, the Philippines. And yesterday we made a fast track on this. I personally cleaned this one. And today I would like to announce that our order of breeder mollies coming from Davao City has just arrived. And you will see the actual transfer of this breeder mollies to these different tanks. By the way, I promise you that I am going to make an update about this big time for our aquatic plants. And since we don't have available time for our mollies, I will temporarily use this tank for our mollies. But a little later, maybe two days after this breeder mollies have been conditioned, we're gonna transfer them to another tank. And this tank is really for our aquatic plants. Next week, that's the thing that we can expect from this channel these are mix of yellow mollies these are the yellow the choco and the pure chocolate molly this had been mixed and I was advised that I will segregate them to prevent cross breeding but my desire really is to produce a red eye cheetah molly it's gonna be a challenging effort for me to be able to produce the red eye cheetah molly out of these breeders i know that we can produce many other kind of fish out of these breeders i will acclimatize this one first of course i have so many cellophanes over here by the way these are rosy barbs and if you are asking how to breed this one that's gonna be our topic in the next couple of videos that we are going to make because these rosy barbs are really breeders and you will see that there are some that has dark color and they are the male ones and the pale colored rosy barb are the female like this one these are the male ones well it's really very easy to identify the male from the the female and we will acclimatize them here these are the barbs and this are belongs to the dandy fish the first try that i had in breeding ornamental fish is breeding actually the live bearers and these are the the common fish that i bred before but i shifted to carp goldfish and even oscars but now i would like to integrate the breeding of this live bearers to our farm because i wanted to share also my knowledge about how to take care and how to breed the live bearers Wow, maybe they have accidentally included this carp. These are not my orders, but we are going to also raise them and maybe they're gonna be our future breeders. These are, oh, these are koi. I did not intend to order this one. And uh, also this one, wow. And this one I still have carbs here I still have wow these are beautiful Japanese koi but they are too stressed I believe so we will acclimatize them first and maybe you will ask is it okay Dexter that the water is very green well the, this green water is the result of too much temperature I mean 
the 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 warm temperature that we have and these are actually old water this water came from down there and we're utilizing this because we cannot use a pure new water as it will really damage the fish so we're acclimatizing and we will wait for a couple of minutes and then we will start the segregation we will segregate the yellow ones from the chocolate and the marble so that's gonna be an exciting moment please witness this guys we will wait for 10 minutes so guys it's been 10 minutes that we have acclimatized this fish over this tank and I am sure that they are now ready to be released in this new environment and one of the things that we must consider if we are going to release new fish in the new tank is to just release 10 20 of them or lesser amount of fish to determine the quality of the water we have just made a test we put some koi and rosy barb here in this tank and it proves to us that they did not die meaning they are just adapting the new taste of the water and they are so active that's why we can now safely assume that we can release this very beautiful mollies and of course you will see here a mix of yellow marble and pure chocolate mollies and they are not yet breeders they are the juvisais and two months from now we're gonna be counting a lot of babies that are produced out of this very beautiful colorful mollies and there are three kinds of them so i was told that each of this plastic container has 100 pieces of mollies and we will witness how we're gonna do these things now we are going to release them wow we will allow them to slowly come out from this plastic yes come on go out green water is really best for mollies that portion is our tank for stones where the, pa the water passes through it and then goes back here already filtered and clean this water is good for them these are our breeders wow i also love chocolate mollies they will not stay here for good but they will stay here until the time that we can make a cemented tank for the mollies this is intended for japanese koi and this tank over here as what i have told you is intended for our aquatic plants wow see that very beautiful i hope they will swim down because if they will swim on the surface that's a bad indication but it is good if it's happening during the early minutes after you release them because if this attitude or behavior will continue swimming at the surface level then that's alarming because the water may not have oxygen for the fish it's a contaminated water but you will see that this water is green and this is coming from here and mixed of a new and old water so this is it we will release the other fish so we will segregate the marble choco from the yellow selfin and from the pure chocolate mollies because if they will be mixed together in one common tank then chances are you will not be able to control the breeding it's good to put all the chocolate mollies in a separate tank and put all the marble mollies in a separate tank for us to have a complete control of the kind of fish that you are going to produce you see they're swimming at the surface level but few seconds later they will learn to swim under that's a good indication wow you will see they are enjoying this big tank we have 700 yellow molly we also have 700 this marble molly and the chocolate molly are only 600 pieces and that's gonna be a huge amount of breeders if you will massively produce this kind of fish mollies are really very easy to care but one thing is that they are prone to the anchor worm. Anchor worms can be prevented. You just have to provide a good filtration system for your mollies and live plants. And that anchor worm cannot really penetrate 
if you are doing your good filtration system for them. So that's the thing that we can share with you today. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be notified of our future videos. And we also would like to ask you to visit our website and we also have items for sale and we humbly ask you also to please visit the channel of my son Dexter's World Junior only here at Dexter's World! <laughs>